I fear the judgment that may be passed. The tension and agitation are overwhelming. I worry about things I can't control. I place myself in solitude because I doubt anyone will understand. The stress leads to panic, leaving me with the feeling of uncertainty. This is a learning process. I am fully aware that this affects more than just me. This is anxiety. My name is Atwana Williams. This is my personal story, my personal journey with anxiety. I have a question. Yeah? What does that mean, anxiety? My very first anxiety attack was when I was seven years old. Anxiety. Probably having difficulty in uh, just in certain situations or, or being in certain places. Like, I feel like it comes in shallows and deeps. Do you know what I mean? Feeling of being overwhelmed and with being overwhelmed, uh, physiologically something happens in your body to cause this uh, a reaction. I get dizzy. I get the, the heavy, heavy heart palpitations. I get the heavy breathing. It's a personal feeling that someone is experiencing. And the people around them may or may not know, but it is something that is real. I felt like a, like a horrible mother. I felt like a horrible wife. I felt like just a horrible person. I felt like a failure. I was nervous to share my diagnosis of generalized anxiety and adjustment disorder with my family because I knew it would come with questions. Is it a stress issue? Is it a worry issue? Is it anticipation of something? I mean, we don't know like the few times you had it here. All of a sudden, you just went in to this panic attack and nobody even knew why. Or your heart rate races. Why? So, I don't know if you can even tell us because we still don't know what happened in those incidents. I'm trying to explain what's going on in my head that I can't even fully comprehend, let alone enough to explain to somebody else who never experienced it. It's hard. It's hard stuff to talk about in the sense of like, sometimes you feel like with that stuff you're by yourself and you don't realize till later that there are people around you. you know? I was hearing her, but I wasn't hearing her. Uh, she was saying these things were going on with her, but I was always like, I, I don't see how, like, you got to overcome it. Come on, you, you, you know, that's just, you're nervous, you're this and that. There was one time in particular where my son, who was six at the time, um, says to me, hey, mom, mom, mommy, and he looks at me and he stops in the middle of what he was going to tell me and he says, Never mind, I'll tell you later. And he walked away. That was the moment that I knew I needed to, to get some kind of help for my anxiety because it was taking me away. It was changing who I was, it was changing the spaces that I operated in because I wasn't able to be who I am. Sharing this with my family validated their unconditional love for me, helping me find strength in my weakness. It's tough watching you when you have those attacks because it just breaks you down so much. If I had to describe my anxiety it feels like I'm falling down the rabbit hole. It just switches and the room starts to spin and I get dizzy. I get the, the heavy, heavy heart palpitations. I get the heavy breathing or at least I feel like I'm breathing but then I guess apparently sometimes I don't breathe and then that's what makes me feel like I'm gonna pass out. It's scary. It's, it's very scary. It's not something you can fix, but it's something that you learn to live with a little bit better. After she had the courage to go out and say, I have something wrong, I need help, and went out to seek help, 
and she didn't refuse to say this is what it is. She accepted it and really said, okay, what can I do? We need to know what helps you mm -hmm. before the attack occurs. Constant communication, let me know where she's at, what things happen around her that spark or trigger that anxiety. Don't tell me, oh, just go sit down, it'll go away, um, but give us some concrete things to do. You're learning your disorder, um, and as you're learning it, you're gonna teach us. Just try to remember, you know, like when you're in that moment, you have people around you that you can talk to, you know? Some people don't even have that. My big cousin, I've always looked up to you, you know? Even with that. Continue to be you, continue to love yourself, uh, continue to live your dream. Just continue being who you are. Yeah, just be you. That's it. See? You know, even though you have been diagnosed with this disorder, it doesn't change mm. who you are. I love you. So just continue to be who you are. As we go through it, we're going to do what we always did, and that's rally the troops and get through it. I find comfort in my faith to be who I am. I find courage in the serenity of my family. I am blessed to have people who love me and care about me. I am grateful for the tools placed before me and find hope in the healing process. Through the grace of God, I find peace. Because my anxiety won't break me. This project is supported in part by the National Endowment for the Arts on the web at arts.gov. My name is Latwana Williams. I'm <laughs> An artist, um, a media maker, a mother, a wife, educator. I have always been an artist for as long as I can remember. I love to act and be in front of the camera and I am now newly into film and producing. My story is about my personal journey with um, anxiety and struggling with it and coming out and open with my family about having anxiety. My hope is that it provides some sort of space for other people to talk about their anxiety or mental health needs with their families. My anxiety defines so much of me because it puts me in a space sometimes that I can't control. And on top of that, I'm not gonna let my anxiety stop me from living my life. And that's the journey that I've come to find out by making a documentary and making it personal is that yes, I have this disorder, I have been diagnosed with this order, I am medicated for this order, but it's not gonna stop me. It doesn't change who I am. I'm still a wife, I'm still a mom, I'm still a daughter, a sister, all those things. And finding the grace in all of that. I hope that people walk away from my film and not say, oh, that was interesting, but maybe, yeah, I have some things that I need to open up to my family about too. I'm really hoping that it inspires the conversation of mental health because it's something that we just don't talk about. And that's why so many people struggle with it silently. So just to kind of kick that door open and have people talk about it.